UNRWA camp in Gaza echoes painful memories of the Nakba. About 200 tents were set up earlier this week in Khan Yunus for Palestinians who fled their homes under intense Israeli bombardment in the northern Gaza Strip and Gaza City. Some Palestinians who fled to the south include the sick and elderly, who are staying either in the UNRWA school or the displaced camp next to it. Asma al astaz left, sits with her family outside the newly erected tent in the Khan Yunus industrial area in the southern Gaza Strip. Many see tents as a symbol for their ethnic cleansing, 750,000 people were forced to live in refugee camps after being displaced from their homes in 1948. For Palestinians, nowhere is safe in the Gaza Strip. According to Ocha, at least 25% of residential buildings and homes have been destroyed in Israeli bombings during the past two weeks. Children said the tents are too hot and spend most of the day playing outside. According to the United Nations, at least one million Palestinians in the besieged coastal territory, half of the total population, have been displaced from their homes since October 7. There is no electricity, water, or internet in the new camp in Khan Yunus. Doha Hamada's family fled with six other families from their homes in Bait Lahia, but fear nowhere is safe. Israeli forces issued an order for the 1.1 million residents in the northern half of the Gaza Strip to evacuate their homes. The sound of Israeli drones and warplanes swirls in the sky amid non-stop aerial bombardment, which targeted an area next to the camp on Thursday.